the interesting thing about this flyer is that you can't just look at it once. You have to look at it over and over again for a couple of times just to feed your eyes with something bright. And this is as a result of the glow effect over the flyer. Your eyes would want to know where exactly are the lights coming out from, which spot, which part. So this confusion makes this design very attractive and interesting, okay, to the eyes. All right, guys, this is what we are going to design. And please, if you are new here to the channel, I warmly welcome you to my channel. And this is what we do. We learn how to design flyers and posters from start to finish, just like this one we are about to do. And if this sounds like something you are interested, kindly smash that subscribe button to be a part of my family here on YouTube. And if you are old here, I salute you. Welcome back okay guys kindly go down to the description to download the resources needed to design this fly yeah all right guys let's get started welcome and here we're going to start by creating our work page so i'll come up here to file and click on new and here in the new document page i'll come to the side here and take the unit of inches so i'm going to take the width of three and then a height of four okay so it is three by four inches and make sure your resolution is at 300 and color mode is on rgb and we are good to go so hit on create when you are done and this is the work page we are going to work on so we are going to start by creating our gradient combination for the background okay i already have my gradient set in the foreground colors right there so we are going to dive right into it so i come down here to this create new field and click on gradient okay so here in the gradient field please note the settings make sure your style is on radar and leave angle at 90 degrees and click inside the gradient we are inside i already have my gradient set but for the sake of you guys i'm going to start afresh so click and drag to the top of that slider to remove the transparency and take the left slider and we are going to set our gradient okay so i'm going to sample this color and this is the color code all right guys i'll hit okay and take the right slider and click inside the color and i'm going to set the um other color okay so this is it just sampling it and that is it all right guys i'll hit okay so i'm going to hit okay from this page and this is it from here i'm going to make the gradient spread nicely so by uh, reducing the angle to 60 degrees and this is what we are having on the page all right guys so that's it from there i'll just go to file and place embedded and locate my resources and this is it i'm going to take the yellow blur okay so that's it i'm going to enlarge it onto the page so that it fits to the uh, page exactly like that okay and this is way cool all right guys just showing you the outlook of it and this is nice on the page from here all i'll do is to blur it out a bit so i'll go to filter blur and i'll take gaussian blur i'm going to blur it a little bit okay something to 10 pixels and we are good to go all right guys this is more like the before and the after all right so here i'm going to blend it into the background so i'm going to take a blend mode that will make it blend nicely into the background and i settled with um soft light you can also take overlay but here we are going with soft light all right guys so this is like the before and after I'll just show you so that you know all right guys so from there i'll just go to file and place embedded again i'm going to bring in this crunchy texture and it is crunchy because it is crunchy all right guys so this is it i'll enlarge it a bit more and position it right there and just as you're seeing it so this is way cool from there i'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur just to blur it out a bit more okay five pixels is cool all right guys this is more like the before and after and put um this crunchy texture on a blend mode of screen just to get it popping out like this all right guys so this is crunchy because um it is crunchy that is how i named it so we are good to go so locate your resources and bring in this light strike image right here onto the page all right guys and make sure to enlarge it to fit to the page just as i am doing and this is way cool all right guys from here we're going to make it blend so we'll go into our blend mode and find a suitable blend mode for this guy so multiply it is so we are settling with multiply and this is the before and this is the 
after so that is way cool from there i'll make a duplicate by dragging down to the new layer icon or pressing ctrl plus j and after making the duplicate and you think it's too deep reduce opacity to 50 percent on that uh, duplicated one and you'll be good to go all right guys so from there i'll go to uh my resources okay to bring in this particular image so i go to file and place embedded as usual to bring in this side block image and this is it all i'll do is to move it to the top of the page like that and hold shift and just drag downwards to stretch it to the bottom of the page and this is what we're having on the page from there i'm going to put blend mode on a suitable one okay nicely to soft light Mwah. that's it that is that is it okay guys so this is what we are getting on our page so here we are going to blur it out a bit i just zoomed in to show you guys so go to filter blur and gaussian blur and blur it out a little bit to four pixels just as you're seated this is the before and i'm going to show you this is the after so just to blur it out a bit just to get it um confusing to the eye you can't see it clearly not all that sharp so that is the essence of the blurring so this is cool all right guys so we are going to dive more into the background again so we'll go to file and place embedded to bring in uh, the background images okay this is a cross image for the background so the cross you saw on top of the man this is um the this is it that's it so this is the bring it and move it to the top and just take the blend mode that suits this particular guy right there so the blend mode that suits it as you already know soft light and we are good so you go to gosh blur and blur it out a bit more okay that's it so two pixels and that is it so two pixels just to cater for uh the noise on the image okay that's it from there I'll give it a layer mask and take my brush tool so sorry for how my brush tool is going to appear this is as a result of my screen recorder it is not giving me the brush size on the page but then I'm showing you the brush size right here so that's it make sure hardness is on zero percent and take the soft round brush and make sure opacity and flow are on 100 percent and take the foreground color black to clean and this is it I'm cleaning the bottom where the sharp edge on the cross image is and we are good to go make sure you brush on the layer mask and you'll be free so that is more like the before and the after for you all right guys so from there you go to file and just place embedded and look at your resources bring in this crunchy texture again enlarge it to the page it is crunchy because it is crunchy all right guys i from there uh, we are going to put it on um, on screen blend mode just to make the work or the background more rich okay and crunchy all right guys so from there i'll give it a layer mask and take the brush tool i'm going to brush some sides i do not want the crunchy so just as you are seeing it i'm brushing at the bottom uh right corner and just as you are seeing it so this is it so you can either ignore this part or where you, or you bring in the crunchy texture and yeah you'll be good but then uh, you can also bring it and brush around it the light parts are the right side of the crunch texture and this is way cool all right guys let's box on from there i'll go to file and place embedded and i'm going to bring in this radar background stock it is just an image and this is it i'll flip it 90 degrees um clockwise like that and fit to the page by enlarging it like that and this is what we are having from there i'll put blend mode on something that will make it pop out nice okay and i'm taking soft light okay um up or down, i think soft light um is what we use for most of the backgrounds and it is way cool so from there i'll just reduce opacity to 40 percent because i do not want my background to be more crunchy okay just as you're seeing it so this is way cool all right guys and this is the background for our design so i'll select all of the images together with the uh, background gradient and name it um, background after grouping you can group it with ctrl plus g and you'll be good so this is our background we are going to work on and let's continue guys so here i'll go to file and place embedded okay to bring in the first man of god onto 
our page which is this one all i'm going to do is to maintain the same size and drag it downwards okay and please as you are dragging downwards okay make sure that his head is right below uh the cross image okay just to make the cross on top of him just to make it feel nice okay that's it so this is it when you import it make sure you don't reduce the size all right i created some shape behind him so let's go take your ellipse tool okay and i'm going to create this nice ellipse on the page just as you're seeing it and this is it i'll take my move tool and all i'm going to do is to position it right there at the center and come here to fx and blending option i'm going to give it a gradient feel okay so in the layer style i'll take gradient overlay so this is it i've already set the gradient just as you have seen it style on linear angle on zero degrees and we are inside the gradient so let's set it afresh you with you guys okay so let's go take the left slider and this is the code insert the same codes in yours and you'll be good and this is the deep code for the deep pink as you see it okay this is it and we are good to go i'll hit okay from this page because we're actually done so all i'm going to do is to move it to the top of the page slowly just as you've seen it and drag its layer down below that of the uh, first man of god which is the man of god right there and make sure you arrange it to the center in alignment with the man of god right there and you'll be good all right so this is it from there uh you take your ellipse tool again create a new layer because uh, i don't want it to merge down automatically into the uh, ellipse right there okay photoshop does that most of the time to me okay it always happens okay so we are going to set the color so this is a yellow color so that's the code and hit okay and we are good to go so make sure this yellow color is right on top of that of the first ellipse we just created so that they both hide behind the first man of god nicely like that so make sure you arrange it behind the man of god nicely and just as you've seen it so this is way cool all right guys these shapes are to just um, bring some attraction okay contrast to the eyes and right behind the man of god so that when you see it it won't be just the man of god there but also shapes behind it okay so take your ellipse tool again and create this nice circle on the page just as you're seeing it so i'm going to give it this yellow and a bit light okay so um this is the code okay i'm going to show you this is the color code and i'll hit okay so from here i'll just go to edit and take free transform so all i'm going to do is to enlarge it so that it um, surpasses okay becomes bigger than the uh gradient ellipse right there and make sure you send it below that of the first gradient we just created the gradient ellipse we just created okay so from there you will enlarge it and make sure that they are all in alignment okay you can select all of them and just make sure um, you align it to the center and that's it make sure also to make it um, nice on the page just as you see it. so this is it this is way cool and that uh, last uh, ellipse we just created is going to give us the um the brightness behind the man of god okay so we are going to create it all right guys just making some adjustment on the yellow shape or the yellow yellow ellipse right there and we'll be good all right guys so i'll take this guy which is the last ellipse um ellipse we just created and go to filter and take blur and gush and blur okay so i'll rasterize it because i won't need it anymore and yeah we are good to go so all i'm going to do is to increase the radius okay of the blur just to make it bright on the page 235 just as you saw and we are good so that ellipse is to give us the brightness on the page like something some brightness is coming behind all of them just like that just as you are seeing it so this makes their work really cool and bright okay from there i'll go to a file and place embedded as usual to bring in the second man of god and i'm going to speed out this this is just the arrangement of the man of god onto the page just import them and arrange them like this onto the page so from here you give this man of god a layer mask and brush off the sharp edge at the right on him like that and we are good so just arrange the three men of god onto the page and we are good to go okay so with this man of god the active one i'm just um working on like this make sure his head is actually covering the tie of the big man of god behind them all okay make sure that tie is not showing okay so that's it so i'll bring in from my resources this wood image like this just as you're seeing it i'll reduce the size and this wood image shouldn't be 
bigger than all the men of God right there. Okay, so make sure as you are enlarging it, it is not bigger than all of them. Okay, so that should be your focus on enlarging it. Okay, so that's it. So all I'm making sure is to uh, align it to the center. Okay, I'm making sure that they are. It is actually aligned at the center like that with the man of god just as you're seeing it so we are way cool we are good to go and just making some enlargement onto the page and we'll be good all right guys and these are all um part of designing and they actually happen okay so if you're designing you have to make adjustments and all this so this happens a lot in designing so you have to be used to it sometimes okay all right guys so this is it uh, all i'm going to do is to give this man of god uh, a brush off okay just brushing off that edge at the left side okay okay so that's it there is no need but um just brushing it out just so that um, to cover up for the dark darkness right behind that of the wood from there you go to the layer style and just take the drop shadow like that and make sure you keep the same figures inside yours and you will get this result we are good to go all right guys so this is it this is the addition of the man of god and we are good to go all right guys so these are all the men of god and this is it this is the first man of god just as you see that so what i'm going to do from here is to create this nice ellipse with the ellipse too okay right behind all of the three men of god okay we just imported and give it this yellow color on the page that's it so all i'm going to do is to reduce the side size size okay just make sure it is hiding right behind the uh, man of god right there just as you're seeing it and go to gosher blur i'll rasterize it because i wouldn't it i won't need it anymore and this is cool so I'll make sure you input some figures right there so to 30 pixels just to make it bright behind them like that okay so that's the yellow feeling i wanted on the page and um uh, we are getting it gradually okay so that's it just showing you um the before and after and everything okay so yeah nothing more nothing less okay so this is all about it and that's it so here we are just going to go to our resources okay go to file and place embedded to bring in this holy spirit dove okay this holy spirit dove is going to be right on top okay at the top left corner of the wood right there and put blend mode on screen okay make sure you give it a layer mask and take your brush too because we do not want the sharp edges around it so take your brush to on the layer mask okay i'm going to show you my brush settings okay as usual size 100 pixels and hardness zero and soft front brush make sure you brush around that sharp edge brush it off and we are good so this is more like the before and the after that's it this is way cool all right guys so our position is right there so that it covers for that darkness on um the, the man of god right there okay we actually did that earlier on but um that's it this is way cool this is way cool guys so let's box on so from here we are going to add the effect to the man of god so i'll take the first man of god and go to filter and camera raw filter so we are inside i'm going to do the edit okay oh, on this man of god i'm going to show you how to edit the faces just as i am showing you okay and play along with the features and you'll be good and you will get the same results as mine but then uh when we go to the um, other man of god i'm going to speed at it okay because it is the same procedure but just the different man of god okay actually different men of god and hit okay when you are done so this is what we are having on our page so i'm going to repeat the same camera raw features on the three men of god and we'll be good to go so we'll continue from there and we'll be good so that's it so this effects are to make it very nice okay so stick to it and you make your um, designs really really nice and attractive to your clients your customers yourself and to the public as well so this is way cool so from there i'm just going to tilt this man a bit because i want him to be looking um cool and somehow straighten like that so that's it so this is it this is it I, nothing more nothing less and we are good to go so i'm going to group everything about the men of god okay together with the woods okay so yeah i'll select everything there and just hit on the group icon right there and 
this is it i'll name it mog short form for men of god and we are good to go so you go to select and make sure you select all right there and just come to the alignment and align it to the center it is already at the center so yeah we are good to go but just showing you so that uh, you make sure yours is at the center of the page like that so that's it we are good to go all right guys so here we are just going to uh, focus on the next chapter of this work so i'm going to bring in this bob image right here so that's it i'm going to ar arrange them like that so i'll tilt it like this okay and reduce the size a little bit just like that and we are good so I'll tilt it a bit more just to look nice on the page something like this is cool yeah so that's it i'll just make it hiding uh, to the kind of the page just as you're seeing it and this is way cool from there i don't want to confuse you so i'll go to file and place embedded and bring in the same bob image right onto the page and tilt it like there's a position into the top left corner just as you're seeing it okay so this is cool like that okay the brightness of the uh, bob image is nice but we want it more bright so we'll create it ourselves but then uh, let's go to filter blur and motion blur okay we are going to motion blur it to 20 distance and make sure you keep the settings hit ok when you are done so this is the before and this is the after of the motion blur so we'll take the next bob and go to filter blur and gaussian blur not motion blur this time we are going to gaussian blur so blur it out like four pixels and hit ok and i'm going to show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after of the blurring okay like that so that is cool this makes it uh hazy on the page some action popping out in the in the flyer okay it makes it like that and that is the motive of all of them on the page like that so that's it i just i just grouped them and named it bob like that and yeah just for easy allocation okay easy allocation all right guys i'll create a new layer on top we are going to uh the lightning part of this video okay on this flyer okay so with the lightning part you can actually use um the brush tool to do it that is if you're a pro with the brush tool but for beginners i'm going to show you something you are familiar with so take your ellipse tool and just uh, create this nice ellipse on the page like that so with the first ellipse we are going to um, set the color for this guy so i'm going to sample this color i'll show you the code like that so this is the color we are settling with and i'll go to filter blur and cache blur so just rasterize the layer because i don't need it i know i don't need it i won't need it anymore okay so that's it so all i'm going to do is to set the radius like that and this is the before and after so from there you put blend mode on screen just to make it bright like that so it will pop out like this on a page for you and you'll be good so that is it this is just showing you the before and after like that so take your ellipse tool again and i'll just uh, create this small ellipse on the page just as you're seeing it and this is way cool so from there i'll just move it to the top of the bulb like that and just enlarge it a bit more like that so i'll double click here in this time now and sample this color just going to take something light okay a light color for this guy so let's take it to full white and this is cool so this is it so yeah we already have our ellipse already made so this is the um, other white ellipse so yeah make sure you go to blur and gaussian blur like that and take the radius to 30 pixels like this so just to get the brightness on the page like this so just show you the before and after of all of them this is the white ellipse white ellipse and this is the yellow ellipse we just created so that's it don't put it on um screen but just leave it like that and it will be good i just actually um made a duplicate and positioned it right on top of the other bulb image and i just reduced the size and positioned it right on top and that is it that is it so that's all of the lightning effect on the bulb images okay so with the light effects okay it is also going to um spread some rays on the man of god some lights on the man of god so we are going to create all of that so take your ellipse tool and create this nice circle shape on the page just as you are seeing it so we are going to start with the face of this man of god so i'm going to sample this yellow color on the page or which is the foreground color like that and i'll go to filter blur and gush and blur as usual i'll rasterize it because i won't need it anymore 
like that so i just send the radius to 40 pixels 40 pixels actually is too much so 30 pixels yeah this is way cool from there this is it the before and the after okay so from there you put blend mode on screen just to make it pop out like this okay make sure you arrange it somehow um on the uh right side of this man's face okay just as i am doing okay and yeah we'll be good so just to make sure that uh there uh, there is some light popping out from the bob image just as you have seen it so this is way cool i'll make a duplicate and just position it at the, the left side which is this man of god's face just to cover up for the brightness on his face okay because there's some bob coming out from that direction on top of him so yeah so this is it just creating it all right guys so this is it all i'm going to do is to make a duplicate and send the duplicated one to that of the first man of god which is this guy right here so this is it. i'll just enlarge it more okay because he's big and i'll make i, I just wanted to mm, uh cover the face which is um the left side of the face right there just as you're seeing it on the screen this is it this is way cool so this is the um light effect on the page just as you're seeing it so this is how you create the light effect you can actually do this with the brush tool that is if you approve so I'll group all of them and just reduce opacity if necessary but here it is necessary because i want to reduce it to 85 uh, percent just to make it a bit light okay not all that deep like shiny shiny like that and this is way cool from there i'll just create a new layer and actually that is the light effect okay and this is cool all right guys create a new layer and take your brush tool sorry for how my brush tool is appearing okay i'm just showing you the brush settings right here just as you are seeing it okay so what i'm going to do here is to brush some light to the bottom right corner here like that of the page like that so just changing my brush size a bit more i showed you guys just yeah so what i'm going to do over here is to take this foreground color i'm going to brush on with this yellow color on the page at the bottom right corner there just as you see it so i'm just brightening it like from the top to the lower something sloppy like this okay something like this is okay and make sure it is covering the wood image just to hide the wood image into uh, the background just to get it like this on the page so this is okay from here i'll give it a new layer i'll create a new layer okay and take the brush too but then here i'm going to set the uh, size to a reduce form like that okay so i'm going with um this color this time around this deep orange like that okay so all i'm going to do is to brush from the corner there like that over there like this all right just to enclose the whole flyer with the orange okay because it's more of the orange on the page and light of the yellow and this is way cool okay so i think the orange color is too deep so i just reduce the size um the opacity not the size like that just to get the light on the page and this is what we are getting for the brushing okay actually we, we have faded uh the wood image into the lights we just created at the bottom of the page this is this is okay this is way cool and all i'm doing is to just move it down which is the lights we actually just created okay on at the bottom of the page i'm just moving it down just to create um the fade nicely okay just as you're seeing it and this is way cool so i'll group what we have just made which is the lights the two lights we just created and that's it this is the lighting the lightning effect on the page i'll show you the before and after um like that so this is it from there i'll go to file and place embedded and in my resources i'm going to bring in this dotted texture as i always do um i make sure to get to get my um flyer looking scratchy something scratchy like that on the page so i'm going to use this image um to get it so i'm going to put this image on a blend mode color dodge okay so this is the color dodge blend mode for this dotted texture image like that i do not want it all over the uh, page or the flyer like this it makes it look weird so i'll take the um layer of it and create a uh, layer mask like that and take my brush too so all i'm going to do is to brush around it okay from the man of god and um, 
the bulb image okay and somewhere on the wood image okay just brushing around it just to remove the um, the, the the glossy effect okay on them like that after creating the putting that dotted texture image on uh, the color dodge blend mode it actually created this weird um looking on the flyer the entire flyer so just clean the portion that i showed you and will be good okay i just want it at the bottom and somewhere at the top uh the stream top okay just as you're seeing it and yeah just to make the flyer look nice on the page so this is way cool i'm just brushing off um around there okay like that so, and again please forgive me for how my brush um it's appearing it is because my recorder isn't giving me the brush side i actually just moved that of the dotted texture image to i added it to the group of uh, the light image we just created and this is it that's it nothing more nothing less was created and we are good to go okay guys so here we're going to box on to the next phase of this design and all i'm going to do is to take the ellipse to and create this nice ellipse on the page we are going to add the church name onto the page okay so let me give this guy a white color so that you guys will see it clearly okay all right so i'll take the uh, shape tool again which is the ellipse tool and come up here to the settings i'll close the eye of the fill we want only stroke so i'll come here and take the stroke of white and just increase the uh, stroke like that okay i want it something bold okay not all that thin like that okay and i'm settling with 20 okay let me see so something about 16 pixels oh it is way too small so 20 is okay i'll increase it a bit all right guys so to let's say 23 is okay this we are settling with 23 and please pay attention from this point okay because it's going to get confusing if you blink your eye okay guys so position it at the top like that just as you're seeing it and i'll go to select select all just to make sure it is well centered on the page like that and go to select and deselect or press ctrl plus g so ctrl plus d to deselect okay create a new layer and take your ellipse to create this nice ellipse on the page and all i'm going to do is to um i'm zooming in and position this ellipse on top there i'm going to give it this deep or dark color which is the black like that and make sure it is on the center of um the page or the ellipse stroke it is on from there you hold control and just click inside the terminal like that just to make selection around this small ellipse like that so that's it and make sure you select the layer of that of the stroke ellipse which we just created and go to select okay and just select inverse like that and you see the selection around it from there you could you take the stroke ellipse and you give it a layer mask okay so that's the stroke ellipse and i'm going to give it a layer mask just to mask that portion off like that for us and this is what we want so i'm going to delete this ellipse which is a black ellipse we just created okay that's it i'm going to delete it because we do not want it anymore it's fine its function is done so we, we are we are done with it so we dumped it like that okay guys let's go go to your resources and bring in our our church logo okay and this is our church logo make sure uh you uh make sure it is right at the center there which is the space available right there just as we maxed out and go to fx and blended option to open the layer style here the layer style check um color overlay and take color overlay of white because we want the logo to be white okay so that's it so this is our press control plus zero to zoom to fit to page and here we're going to type in the church name so i'll go to my tools and take the horizontal horizontal type two okay and here i'll zoom in for you guys to see what is actually going to happen right here so let's box out guys so all i'm going to do is to just type in so i'm just going to um, position it and make it big for you guys to see if not you guys are not going to see what is going to happen right here all right so i'm going to take the font to montserrat and the font style of extra bold italic all right just uh, i'm going to set this deep color for our text it will be good okay so something deep pink okay like that so just set it up and we'll be good okay all right i'll show you the color code when i'm done so do not worry and this is what we are settling with and we are good to go so i'm going to type in the church name and this is it 
just typing in the name of the church reducing the size and make sure it is well centered on the page as usual and type in this one reduce the size and go to the character panel and just change um, it to a deeper a deeper um font style like semi bold like that like just as you're seeing it so that's it so we are good we are good to go all right guys from there i'll go to my character panel and increase va like that just as you're seeing it just so that um it becomes widely spread like this okay so this is cool from there I'll reduce the size a bit just try to make it um catch um nicely okay on the page that's it that's it so this is it so your motive should be that um this text actually crosses um the sides of the strong tower prayer which is the first church name like that okay so that's it all i'm doing is to just make a bit of an adjustment but it is the same procedure just as we made for the text okay so that's it make sure they are always centered they are always centered to the center of the page and we'll be good all right guys take your horizontal type tool again and i'm going to reduce va to zero because it has to be normal for the next um, text to be written so i'm going to type in this presents okay so the strong tower prayer ministry international presents okay but then i'm going to change the text um, font to uh, something stylish stylish okay so this is it i'm going with um candice okay this um candice font and i'll just reduce the size like that all right guys link is right in the description just in case okay so yeah make sure they are always centered make sure they are always centered centering your work shows a sign of our uh, professionality and um everyone loves it okay like it is very keen to the eyes and makes your work very very attractive so make sure your works are always centered as i always um elaborate on it okay guys let's work so i'll just select all of it and making sure that it is well centered i am saying it i'm just stressing on it so that you keep it in your mind that you always center your works when you are working okay so that's it that's it and i just grouped them and named the church name because it is a church name and we are good to go from there I, i'll take i've taken i've taken i've taken my rectangle too and we are good so i'm just creating this nice rectangle okay at the top right corner of the page and i'll release it and we are good so this is the rect uh, rectangle we want for for the page all right so i'm just positioning it nicely right there i'll go to edit and free transform i right click and click on warp okay we are going to warp it out warp 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 it out so take this node and move it up or drag upwards and take this other node that is beside it right there like that and move it downwards like that so i'm just moving this node to the top like to the sides like that just to make it uh, feel nicely creating some style right there and this is cool this is what we are settling with and we are good to go from there I'll create a new layer and take my rectangle tool again i'm going to give it a white color and yeah i'm going to draw this nice rectangle just so that um it meets the bottom of the first rectangle we just created and that's it i'm going to double click here in this thumbnail and change the color to pinkish this is it that's it this is the color code okay this is the last color code we are settling with so that's it. i'll drag its layer down below that of the first rectangle we just created just to get it hiding behind it and arranging it um so that it touches the bottom of the rectangle like that so that it doesn't look obvious okay like that so mm, that is cool all right guys so please um if you like and you have practiced to this far don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be a part of my family here on youtube i will really appreciate that don't forget that and i will never forget you i always bring you nice nice tutorials oh don't leave me don't ghost me guys don't ghost me so use the same procedure as we created the stroke um ellipse okay so i'm just creating this uh, stroke ellipse again okay but just uh, something like that so that's it i'll just position it right there okay reducing the size a bit i'm going to reduce the size just like this and i'll reduce it so that it fits inside the uh, rectangle like that so this is going to
take the date okay everything about the date and it is going to be interesting so let's let's just get right into it so that's it i'll position it right there and as usual make sure they are always centered select all and make sure they are always centered on the page right at that spot like that so from there i'll take my horizontal type two and i'm going to type in the detail that is supposed to be there okay so let's go just zoom in for you guys to see i'm going to take the font montserrat montserrat font but the font style should be bold so montserrat black font style so that's it i'm just going to type in the december so three um three to each line like that so december like that okay i'm going to just increase the spread like that just as you're seeing it okay so this is cool and make sure it is always centered so i just center aligned the text like that just as you're seeing it so i'll press ctrl plus t or you can use that procedure and just enlarge it just to fit to the page or the, the ellipse right there and we are good take your horizontal type tool again and i'm using the same font montserrat but then a uh, semi bold italic uh, the font that is dancing tilting like that okay so this is cool so type in the 2022 and i'll take my move tool again um just going to adjust it a bit reducing the size by reducing the size like that this is way cool hold alt and drag to the top to make a duplicate or control plus j to make a duplicate and drag to the top any of which you are good to go and as usual type in the first and we are good so always make sure they are well centered make sure your works are centered at the spot where you are working okay and this will save you a lot of attraction good all right guys i just grouped them and named it date and we are good to go so this is the outlook of everything how far we have come and i'm loving it already so this is it if you have come this far i salute you well done all right guys take your horizontal type tool again and here i'm going to increase the size because i want you guys to see and i'll zoom in more so that i want you guys to see clearly okay yeah so that's it all i'm going to do is to change the font okay to something stylish okay on the page so i'm going to take the same font candice which is the stylish font we use for this design so let's box on so all i'm going to do is to type in the youth chapel okay chapel first so that's it so i'll just go to edit a free transform and enlarge it okay i'm just enlarging it so that it, it becomes it becomes big on the on the wood image like that okay so this is way cool so i'll go to fx and blend it option because um i want it to pop out time so i'll give it a shadow and just uh, set the same shadow figures okay the distance the spread the size the opacity just the same figures set it in yours to get this um working on your page like that okay so this is it this is all of it and we are good so hit okay when you are done and i'll just press ctrl plus t tilting it okay just to get it like this okay um i could have gone with um, the straight method but then i just want it tilted and it is my way and i want it my way so we are going my way all right guys so that's it take the same font candice and type in the youth tilt it using the same format and just give it a shadow as um we made for the first text which is the chapel and we are good so that's it that is the overview or the outlook like that so take your ellipse tool and actually not the ellipse the rounded rectangle tool sorry about that okay so that's it i'm just creating this nice um rounded rectangle mm, yep that's it on the page and this is it from there i'll take my move tool and go to the properties please send the proper um the roundness back to zero pixels we do not want it rounded so but then we are going to take the top left scanner with, and make it roundness of 20 pixels and the bottom right scanner make it roundness of 20 pixels just to get the roundness at the sides like that and we are good from there i'll go to fx and blending option i'm going to give this guy a gradient to so check gradient overlay and we are going to set our gradient so that's it so all i'm going to do from here is to show you the gradient colors it will be good so this is the first gradient color for the left and you hit ok and i'll take the right side and yeah sets the gradient color oh 
that said this is the gradient color we are settling with i'll hit ok and we are good so all i'm going to do is just set it up so that's it this is all about the gradients and we are good to go i'm just going to stretch the the shape right there a bit more just just it was nothing much okay this is way cool just stretching it down like that and just as you're seeing it so this is it i am going to make sure this shape is right below uh that of the chapel shape okay chapel text and i'll drag it layer down below that of the chapel text just to get it like that okay i actually made it this way just to get the uh the shadow on the chapel which is the p in the chapel okay to reflect on the shape like that just that and we are good to go don't mind the other procedure that i went through just maintain the shape like that and you get the same effect or the same result like just don't mind me let's box on from this point okay take your horizontal type tool and just set the color to black okay i'm going to take the font montserrat bold italic and we'll be good just going to type in this detail which is um this we are typing so conference like that so this is it this is the outlook and all i'm going to do is to sample this deep color which is a deep pink color on the page like that so i'll take my move to enlarge it just so that it fits to the um page like that okay not the page the shape which is a rectangle it is on like that so that is it guys go right guys so we are good to go we are good we are very very good we are very very good if you have come this far let me congratulate you well done well done you thumbs up okay thumbs up all right let's go i just grouped them um which is everything about the youth chapel conference and what we just created i just grouped them and named it chapel and just as you're seeing it so that's it that's it let's focus on okay i'll take my horizontal type 2 from here and i'll use the font candice the same font we are using but then i'm going to type in this guest speaker okay it actually was supposed to be um speakers in my main flyer but then um i made it guest speaker so i just corrected it right here and made it guest speakers i guess um maybe if i just, if i didn't um highlight it or bring it on on here address it right here you guys wouldn't um know yeah so that's it that's what actually happened so let's box on i'm just creating something to underline uh, this guest speakers test like that okay so it's good to stretch the duplicated one like that just as you're seeing it okay so that is it that is it all right guys you take your horizontal type tool again but then we are going with the font uh montserrat okay we are going to type in the names of um the guest speakers guest speakers guest speakers yep so that's it so we are taking montserrat bold semi bold actually semi bold so that's it so i'm going to set up the color to deep so that we type in for you guys to see from that i'll send it back to white okay because it actually has to be white so yeah okay so there's it just typing in the uh, names of the men of god and we'll be good so this is what i'm talking of so i just sent it to white and yeah make a duplicate and make sure you type in this detail and also make sure it is center aligned okay make another duplicate and just send it to the other man of god's side like that to the right and make sure it is left aligned just to get it moving to the left wave like that okay let's box out so i'm just i just grouped the whole of the church name <laughs> pastor's name which is the man of god's name i am really sorry for this so like that so that is the names of the mog and we are good so all i'm going to do is to uh push down this lights we just created at the bottom of the page i'm just going to push it down just for uh the names of the men of god to pop out nines okay it's actually uh, reducing the brightness on the names of the men of god which is the white one so i just uh, moved it down a bit it is just um a normal adjustment and this does not kill the design it actually modifies it makes it cool on the page and that is it this is what we are having on our page let's box on so i'm going to type in the name of this big man of god 
we're just the man of god right there so yeah let's go so i'm going to type in his name which is the host okay so host prof so short form for prophet as you already know as you already know like that and yeah that's it he's a host and he's the host and make sure it is right aligned okay just as you're seeing it so this is way cool i'm just going to reduce the size and this is it all i'm going to do is to change the font style of the host prof text like that to bold okay something bold so which is montserrat black just as you're seeing it so just to create some difference between the name text and the host text and this makes it really really attractive to the eye in terms of text arrangement so that's it take your polygon tool and create this nice triangle on the page all i'm going to do is to give it a deep color which is a deep pink we already created it so you already have the color codes so let's box on so make it small and make sure it is pointing to the big head of the man of god right there all right guys so that's it that's it and he's having a big head because he's actually the biggest one there so obviously he's having a big head yeah yeah let's box on guys so that's it i just grouped them and named it like that but yeah take your ellipse tool and create this nice ellipse on the page like this from there as usual close the eye of the fail like that and make sure you give it a stroke only stroke so we want a stroke ellipse but not all that much so something to four pixels just thin like this and we are good from there i'll take my ellipse tool again create this small uh, ellipse like this right on top of the stroke ellipse like that and make sure it is centered okay they are both in a uh, vertical center alignment that's it so this is cool this is way cool all right guys take your horizontal type two and type in the time like that right there okay so that's it i'll give this guy a deep color which is a deep pink right there and we are good to go okay so i'll just reduce it just so that um it becomes um in alignment with the actual time like that so the gmt together with the 6 pm should actually be in alignment always make sure to align your uh your work to the center okay make sure it is, they are all well centered and this will save you a lot you will actually thank me later all right guys so that's it so select all and make sure they are all centered <laughs> right there okay so i'll group all of them just as you see it so yeah i'll name it time because that's the time and we are good to go okay so that's all about the time from here i'll just go to the shape and take this um ellipse tool again all i'm going to do is to create this nice ellipse on the page not all that big something nice like this all i'm going to do is to go to the layer style okay and give it this nice gradient feel oh see <laughs> okay sorry about that so that's it that's the gradient feel we already have it we already created this gradient all i'm going to do is to change the alignment to something vertical and we are good that's it that's it that's it we actually created this same gradient for the gradient shape behind the first man of god the big headed first man of god so um that's it so that's the position right there at the um bottom right corner there like that and create another ellipse by this time we are going with a stroke okay so close the eye of the field the eye of the field and take a stroke nicely like that not all that deep or bold something four pixels thin a bit like that and position it right there from here you can type your name i actually typed uh my name right there which is simply ck the boat on the main flyer so you can type your name right there if you want but then um this is cool if you do it this way okay for the sake of time we do not want to go through that okay so that's why i maintain it right there so this actually is a shape in my photoshop tools okay which is the arrow okay so sorry about what is happening here okay um yeah let's create it again i created a new layer just to take uh, the shape too so this is a custom shape which is the arrow shape right here so i'm going to show you this is a custom shape but then it is also in your resources which you can make good use of okay and that's it so all i'm going to do is to 
you actually bring it on the page and just uh, make sure you get it uh, looking downwards or facing downwards like this and that's it hold out and just drag upwards to make a duplicate just so that um, it touches the tail of the first one this is it i'll select both and just reduce the size because i do not want it to be all that big on the page at that side like that this is way cool okay guys so like that all right guys from there i'll just create it again so you can in your case you just go to your resources and import it like this and just arrange it right here on the page and you'll be good to go i'm just making it small don't make it big and yeah this is cool it is also just to create um, some attraction okay on the page so it shouldn't be all that big it's not part of the details so yeah th that is it so make it small and we are good so that's it i'll just group all of the um arrows together with the shapes what is the ellipse and the stroke ellipse and that's it i just grouped all of them and we are good to go all right guys we are almost at the end of the video and i really want to use this point to congratulate you if you passed this um, practice okay and please if you have any suggestion any question any confusion anything at all just type it in the comment section and i will uh, in fact i will respond to you as soon as possible all right guys so after creating this um control shift alt e overview just go to the camera raw filter and which is in the filter and take camera raw filter and you'll be here so all we are going to do over here is to um increase the colors just to make it very nice and awesome and attractive okay we are going to increase the colors by uh, playing with the features right here just as i am doing okay so this is it i'm just increasing the uh, features a little bit so this is it i'm just touching the right spots to uh, make the design bright and this is what we are settling with so this will load a bit and this is it so welcome to the end of this video and i hope this video helped you and if it did please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the notification bell icon just so that you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video in the near future i love you it's simplicity here i hope this video helped you so this is my design i actually made and um as you can see we got it we got everything on it clearly and this is our design we made so i'm signing out peace